one example that underscores the profound impact that the, the Bank of North Dakota has had um, on our students um, and our taxpayers is the school construction loan program. So just very recently we went out and issued general obligation bonded debt to help build the new middle and high school. If you take the $10 million award that we had received um, from the Bank of North Dakota and compare that to um, $10 million in debt from an outside entity, uh, the savings to our taxpayers uh, over the 20 year period that we'll, we'll be servicing that loan is over two and a half million dollars. Schools across North Dakota are the beneficiaries of the School Construction Assistance Revolving Loan Fund. This was created in 2015 when the legislature consolidated a number of loan funds that were provided to schools into one big fund. It allows schools to borrow money from the Bank of North Dakota at a 2% interest rate for 20 years. Our facilities were not ADA compliant. We had stairs, we didn't have an elevator, we didn't have any way to get up to our upper floors. So that helped by having this project with our building all being on one floor. And this year, we actually have a student that's in a wheelchair. So we do need that ability to have this child be mobile in our facility, and now we do. We had a brand new gym floor, painted the gym. That's kind of the part of that center, where I talked about the center of that hub. People come to our school for our activities. They come to watch our volleyball, they come to watch our basketball, you know, and to walk into that gym for the, for the first time was that wow factor for those people. And, um, and they're like, hey, this is awesome, awesome for our kids. This is what our kids get to be part of, get, get to come to school to. And uh, they're not coming to a school that that the carpet is 30 years old and ripped and, and torn and tattered. They're not coming to where the lights work sometimes and don't work sometimes. They're coming to a brand new place. The fixed rate protects the taxpayers. And then, you know, those dollars that you save on that sale, that bond sale that you don't have to do with the school construction loan, can either be put into the project or, you know, or reduce some other impact uh, on that, you know. It could be costs for furniture they put in the building or otherwise that we can reallocate to that purpose and we don't have to request other funds in our general budget to cover those. So there are impacts like that that uh, you do promote and we've always promoted school construction loan as a, an important financial piece in the bond referendum process.